Welcome to Market Matters. I'm Nadia Hassan, together with a very affluent um, Kusu Chuang. E, not A. Yes, exactly. So the fact is, we're looking at uh, companies in the news today on Budget Recalibration Day. You should mark it down as a day where everybody nothing happened, nothing happened <laughs> nothing and everybody happened had something. Well, I, well, no. Apparently, now we're supposed to go spend. Yeah, because they've taken three percent of our EP every the withdrawal. Wonderful, so, isn't yeah. it? Wonderful. Yes, yeah. I I always need another holiday. But anyways, looking at companies in the news, we're looking at Malaysian Pacific Industries Bohad or MPI to AKA, you and me, yeah. Yeah, AKA MPI to its friends, down nine point four percent to ninety cent. Uh, to eight ringgit and sixty six, and the reason why we were double taking at these numbers was because if you looked at their earnings, their earnings were pretty fine. You know, the fact is revenue went up. What do you call it? Revenue went up twelve point two percent. Net profit uh, also went up about thirty seven percent. It's no small feat, but maybe because. This stock has been run. It has been on the uh, bull path over the past couple of months because when air, when the ringgit started going south, everybody wanted the export guys, and no more more export than semicon. Yeah, that's the news though because they announced Q2 earnings today. Uh, they had those numbers as you say, Nadia. But uh, basically, this stock stock has doubled in a year. They went from six bucks to currently about to uh, to to where it is now. You know, so um, the thing is, it's it's seeing it's seen a bit of fatigue in the share price. Mm. It's uh, seeing some profit taking. Uh, they sold more stuff at better margins and got some US dollar appreciation. So it's you know it's a pre- pretty pretty good confluence. But do you think it's actually a case of buy on rumor or slash speculation and no, sell on no, fact? No, no, no. These all backed up by earnings. And, yeah, backed up by earnings. But why the sudden you know nine percent drop? Of, well, I mean uh, you know investors will take a chance to take profit. You know it's not as if the volumes are big and this is a heavy cap yeah, stock. Yes, so that's true. This that's is true. controlled by the Hong Leong Group. You know I think that Tan Sri Kwek Chance Company. So it's not all the all the liquid as well. Um, but you know, if you look at the Global Semiconductor Industry Association numbers, they've been on the downtrend for the last four months. The latest reported numbers is in October is four months of downtrend. So basically, those widgets aren't selling as well as they used to. Yeah, exactly. So of course, this is all related to the what do you call it? Related to the electronics industry yeah. in total. Of course, the yeah. semicon. Apple did an unprecedented move yeah. that you saw yesterday. Yeah, they sold fewer iPads, so I uh, yeah, fewer so, iPhones. Well, but you have to make and put it fewer in con- iPhones than ever before. Yeah, but you also have to put it in context. When they say it's less, it's like. Zero, 200 million less or something. Put it this way, they're yeah. still, yeah, they're, they've got 216 billion of cash, 40% gross margins. Yeah. What's that to not like about yeah, Apple? Yeah, but right? for the first time, Tim Cook uh, did actually come out to say that we think it's going to be tough. Yeah. You know, they did say that for the first time, they cannot rely on China anymore as your boom and your place to sort of like flash your new gadgets to the niveau rich. Yeah, which and is why companies like MPI are not doing as well as they yeah, used to. Yeah, exactly. Right? Samsung today followed the same thing. They joined Apple in saying that the sentiment is not, you are not going to see the 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 bubbliness that you saw. So the smartphone guys are selling fewer units. The MPI guys, which are the widget makers, are going to sell fewer units as well. So it's all of, it's all the whole value chain, kind of like crumbling at the seams. Yeah, exactly. Equipment manufacturers are already seeing that slower sales. You know, the cu- a lot of customers are sort of putting all their capital investments on hold. So yeah, it looks nice on the first thing, but I don't think it w- is when will this party train stop. It looks like it's about this year, isn't it? Yeah, we'll have yeah. to. I'm really curious. You know, we talked about the weak economy, about the Fed and everything like that. It seems to be that they're not the only ones who share this kind of worry. Anyway, so moving, what is it? Just to wrap it up for you, we're looking companies in the news. We're looking at MPI. The reason is because they actually reported Q2 earnings today. Really, really good on both the top and bottom line. Uh, up about The bottom line was up about 37%. However, the stock did not sort of react. It went down. It went down about 9%, but of course the stock has been on the bull run over the past couple of months. Maybe people took some time to take profit, and because of the fact that economics sector is not going to be, well, not economics, sorry, electronics sector, yes. sorry, brother, it's not going to look as good in the next couple of months. Finally, we're looking at broker's call today, and I care for you, Chuang. Caring pharmacy. Exactly. Close Don't you care for me? Lower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Controlled by the managing director yes. and his buddies, uh, all pharmacists. So what yeah. they do is they run pharmacists, and they call them community, uh, community uh, uh, stores, right? And yeah. uh, they've got about 104, I think, around the country. And uh, they sell pharmaceuticals, they sell uh, their medical devices, they compete with Georgetown, they compete with uh, the other, you know, a couple of them. Well, they keep, um, you're thinking of Guardian and Watson, Guardian, right? that's right, Watson and all <laughs> and that, Watson's right? and Guardian. So very com- high volume, very low margin business. Yes, exactly. And that is why the two reports we have for you, we tried to find something happier, we can't. BIMB, both H and HLIB both sell. Uh, BIMB is marginally higher with its target price, 117, uh, HLIB is 116. The fact is we saw their earnings, right, and their earnings were very reflective of the fact that what you mentioned, the the I think the the it's going to be tough in terms of the margins because you have all these competitors around you. 
Well, the first half results of three million ringgit was just one fifth of half of, of half of full year forecast. Exactly. So they're way behind. And if you look at it, right, both Bank Islam and Hong Leong, with their target price of one seventeen, one sixteen, that, that's a thirty percent drop from where they are now because they closed there one eighty four, which is six cents lower or three point two percent lower. So there's a long way to fall for the stock, which exactly. has been rising a lot, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Ever since it got listed right. a couple right. a couple of years ago, yeah, I think yeah. so. I, 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 oh, the, the, the both of them have the same argument for the fact is back down to margins. They think the economy is not going to get any better, as in like the environment's not going to get any better. Rising cost of living, declining consumer sentiment, uh, sixty three point eight points, and long longer gestation period for its new pharmaceutical outlets, which usually take about a year to break even. Mm. It's now going to take 18 to 24 months. That is a huge jump in time for, for a store to be running at a loss. Yeah, well, Car- Caring has actually seen the share price really rally, but they've been really aggressively expanding, which I think has played into the share price. But, you know, of course, as according to Hong Leong, this over-aggressive expansion has resulted in margin compression, which may continue to drag earnings growth. And that's, I think that's a big warning for the yeah. management. And then, although, yes, in this kind of game, I think you need to have a lot of presence, but over aggressive expansion is going to kill you as well. Especially yeah. in a slowing economy. Exactly. And depressed and, sentiment. And not only and that, and, l- and, let's and, not, <laughs> and let's not forget about, although medicines by rights are not GST, right? They're not effective. It depends on when the TPPA comes Ah, uh, yeah, play. exactly, which they passed, by the way, a couple yeah. of days ago to think about it. So the, the thing is, right, we, we're talking about competition. I think it's going to be the biggest concern because, you know, I go to a couple of few pharmacies and I always find that carrying price point does tend to be slightly lower really? than Guardian yeah. and Watson. But you, you know what's interesting in Malaysia? They have independent pharmacies. They have a lot of these independent pharmacies what, that charge. Mom chan- and pop pharmacies. Mom and pop pharmacy. AA pharmacy. With no scale though, no volume, no scale. So no, but AA expensive. pharmacy is amazing in the sense that AA pharmacy in Bangsar has become has driven a lot of business away from people because they are always somewhat cheaper. You know why they're so popular? Why? They sell everything under the sun. Literally. Prescription or no prescription. Oh, that one, uh, <laughs> we're going to get funny. All uh, yeah, yeah, that's all you say. Anyway, yeah, yeah, just to, we're going to leave it at that before we get sued. The fact is we're looking at Broker's Call, we're looking at Caring today, uh, down about 3.16%. We're looking at two reports, both of them sell, BIMB sell with a target price of 117. HLIB is a sell of 116. Fact is, worried about war- margin compression, times are going to get tough, it's not going to get easier. Over-aggressive expansion may also hurt them as well. Anyway, that's all for us today on Market Matters. I'm Nadia Hassan together with Kusu Chuang. More on everything, of course, there's the edgemarkets.com and you have the physical copy if you like to feel things uh, at all suitable newsstands. Good night, guys. Good luck.